morning, YouTube fam. Today is another great day because we are gonna be doing a full day of eating. I'm in the kitchen right now making breakfast. I'm nervous, I'm about to burn my hash browns I'm making at the moment, but I thought you guys would be interested to see a full day of eating on an active recovery day. And so, taking it easy today and just gonna make a whole lot of food so I feel great tomorrow. So. Let's get to it. Currently nervous, I'm burning these, so I might have to put the camera down. Yeah, burnt hash browns. Great start to a full day of eating. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away So usually on Thursdays on my active recovery days I do like to make something a little fancier for my breakfast Find me eating during a training day, it's usually eggs and oatmeal, or maybe an egg sandwich, something that's fast and easy to digest. I mean, the hash browns today just take a little bit longer to make and everything, so I do just like to make something different on my Thursdays and Sundays. And also this breakfast too is higher in fat than what I would usually have on a training day, so it's about 25 grams of fat on a training day. 25 actually, maybe 25 to 30. Usually on a training day, I'll have about 15 grams of fat in the morning just because that is easier to digest my food faster. And when you have a lot of fat in the morning, it just sits in your stomach and not really the best way to start your training day. So today we have one egg white plus one egg, hash browns cooked in olive oil, uh, red bell pepper, kale, onions, and then four chicken breakfast sausage from Trader Joe's. So this is about 45 grams of carbs, 32 grams of protein, and I think it's about 25 grams of fat. Jeez, to my breakfast. Mm -hmm. I just talked about how it was already really high in fat. Oh really, you didn't tell me that. Now you just added more fat. Why are your fans unzipped? <laughs> what is going on? Stop. <laughs> and guacamole. Oh my gosh, she's really loading the fat, everyone. Can you stop it? Can you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I thought you stopped it. <laughs> Can you delete that? Oh my god! You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Next meal of the day, I'm gonna make a green smoothie with all these ingredients and vanilla protein.
Okay, you guys, so I kind of just threw this smoothie recipe together last minute just based off the ingredients in my fridge. Um, but I'm gonna taste it right now to see if I need to add anything first before I start pouring it into our cups. Tastes really good, but it's warm and it needs ice. There's nothing worse than a warm smoothie. So I'm gonna add some ice right now and then I think that should be good to go. You might call me crazy, but I'm gonna add some cinnamon into this smoothie. Mid-morning snack, kind of a little late lunch almost because I'm about to go swim in an hour and usually I ha would have had the smoothie an hour earlier, but I was busy working and kind of in a workflow where I didn't want to stop it. But then you know that moment when you get really hungry and can't focus anymore. That was me. So I'm gonna enjoy this smoothie, keep working a little bit more, and then I'm gonna head off for a swim, little active recovery session. But honestly, this smoothie tastes so good. It's nice and creamy with the avocado. You get some celery, you get your greens in, you get protein. You get your fats. Honestly, I think this is a great smoothie recipe for any of you who are looking for a nice little healthy snack in the middle of the day. Because she didn't preserve a spot at the pool. No, it's full. Cool. Let's have a good cake section. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Um, can we do that bread, whatever that brown bread is, like the brie bun? The brioche bun? Yeah, exactly. Yep. And can we do what me sure do? Oven roast turkey, turkey, more turkey, more turkey. Oven, oven can I do oven roast turkey, please? And can I do swish for the cheese? Swish? Yes, please. Okay. And can I do? Do you have some extra? Uh, yeah. Can I do add some? Should I add some bacon or avocado or both? Avocado, please, on that one. And uh, it comes with lettuce, tomato, red onions. And uh, can I also add uh, avioli, please? Avioli. You want all that stuff? You yeah, want please. Potato, tomatoes, onions, and lettuce? Yeah, just put it all in there, please. Okay. And you want mayo. What about um, that, our mustard? Uh, no, you can take Dijon? that off. It's a tiny bit, not much. So I thought I made a reservation at the pool at one got there apparently I didn't make a reservation and they were completely booked out so Rasmus and I had a sporadic decision to then go get food and we're gonna go back to the pool at 2 30 because we were both really hungry so getting food now and then gonna go back to swim and maybe if we have time do sauna after this but right now at the store I got coconut water and then I'm gonna show you guys the chicken teriyaki bowl I got at the Kensington Market, which is like my go-to. Just chicken, brown rice, veggies, super easy to eat, digest before we're about to go swim right now. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys in a little bit. Russ is gonna go grab our food right now. I got a sandwich full of gluten, full of mayonnaise, pesto, avocado, lots of cheese, barely any proteins. Are you gonna be able to digest that before swimming? Mm-hmm, give me energy. Your mouth could really fit over it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll get it the same way. That's really good. 7. No, 6. Pool session done. Literally just got home, showered, and now I'm about to have a protein shake, carb shake, with 20 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, glutamine, creatine, all of this is so great for recovery. I think so many people misunderstand and think carbs are not your friend and aren't good for you, but carbs help refuel your muscles. They help refuel, refuel your glycogen levels and honestly help you recover faster. So if you're not adding in carbs and you're training high intensity training and training as much as I do, like I just need these carbs to recover. So that's what I'm having right now, protein shake. And then gonna have a meeting right now at 5 p.m. And then after that, I'll probably eat an early dinner and then I'll have a second meal of the day. So we are not finished, everyone. Keep tuning in. All right, dinner, 
finally we are making nachos everyone nachos and poor planning I'm really sad because my nachos aren't gonna have any guacamole on them and not that much cheese yep. no fat cheese it's low no it's just organic shredded mozzarella cheese and then that's as much cheese as I get. And then some leftover turkey meat. Or some beans. I already showed them the beans. <laughs> Well, now let's see it again. Leftover turkey for 15 days ago. <laughs> I made this yesterday. It doesn't look like that. Huh? It doesn't look like that. Do you have anything nice to say? Don't say it. Oh, you did? Yeah. I can't see that from there. Wow, you did. That's exciting. Mm, nice work. Not even good. Ah, oh, that does look good, actually. Good job, man. Nice work. Hey, you need to it on me. It's warm. Is it good? Yeah. His nachos. That's actually really good. Mm. Where's your call? My nachos. <laughs> I ran out of fat. It's like my fat for the meal. Okay, you guys, this is not the final meal of the day, even though it looks so amazing. And It's not the final meal? Oh, it is the final meal. No, this is, I have one more meal after this. What is that gonna be? Cereal. <laughs> I'm so excited. So eat this. We're eating this now. I'm gonna watch a show of Vikings and then I'm gonna get a bowl of cereal. Okay, turn on. Turn on. How is it? How's the dry? Dry sand with a little bit of powder on top. The beans make it better. Mm. Nice. Right. Bye bye. It's blurry. Turn it off. Last meal of the day, some mala oats, some cereal. Final meal. And just a sweet treat. I wanted to end the day after swimming, working, house cleaning, all of that. Anyways. If you guys enjoyed watching my video on inactive recovery day to see how I eat or if you guys don't want to see more videos a full day of eating, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel though so you guys get notifications whenever my new videos come out. Also like, comment, all of that. Thank you all for tuning in. I think Ras is ready for me to come back to the TV so we can finish Vikings. All right, thank you everyone.